Hey folks, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Out and about on the brand new for 2021 Suzuki Hayabusa, an absolute beast of a bike. I bought this from Suzuki UK and I'm about halfway through my loan period. I've been riding it for a week or so now and uh, I'm starting to get a feel for the bike, but is it a love affair? Stick around and stay tuned, I'll tell you. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is tell you the things that uh, I've learned about the bike that I absolutely love about it. It's gonna be my top five things, really, that I love about the machine. There are five things about this bike that uh, sort of stick in my mind. The things I'll remember once she goes back that I've absolutely loved about this machine. Oh, there's a trike. Hello? <laughs> Quite a thing. The worst of both worlds. Anyway, where were we? Yes, the Hayabusa. So the first thing that I love about this bike, and here's a little demo of it, if you have a listen, is the quick shifter it's uh, particularly good on this machine quick shifters these days are getting really good anyway aren't they but this one's got up and down quick shifter and what i like about it is within the uh, user selectable riding modes i've got this on u1 at the moment you can actually change the quick shifter mode it's got it uh, off one and two and uh, i think what it's doing is basically changing the speed at which the quick shifter works so i've got it set up on two at the moment and it means that the quick shifter works really really quickly both up and down the box. If I just slow down here, come down into first. Even at slow speeds, it works nicely. And then coming back up again. Yeah, brilliant. On a bike like this, a big old powerful sporty end of the sports tour, I suppose you could describe it as, although let's face it, it's sort of a hyper tour, isn't it? Or a hyper sports, I don't know what category you put it in. But basically, a quick shifter makes a lot of sense on a bike like this. So uh, that's the first thing I love about the bike. First thing in the uh, love affair, the quick shifter, both up and down, really smooth. And the fact that you can actually change the characteristics of it. I love that about the bike. OK, on to my next love about the bike. And it's something that's probably no surprise, given the Hayabusa's mythology. And that is the effortless power that's available on this bike. This new version puts out 188 brake horsepower, a nuts amount of power for a motorcycle really. And what I like about it is the way it delivers it. It's just there everywhere. Whenever you twist the throttle, the thing absolutely flies. I haven't actually looked at the, uh, at the power curve for this, but I assume it's relatively straight. Because unlike so many four cylinder bikes that you have to absolutely thrash before you get into the power band, this just seems to have dollops of it everywhere. So that's number two on my list of the top five things I love about this bike. Adding to the potential love affair, the effortless power on the Hayabusa is somewhat intoxicating. Okay, next up then, what else is there to love about Hayabusa? Well, one thing I think is pretty great about it is the price. This bike, not only is it kind of up there with the best in terms of power, it's also up there with the best in terms of electronics fit. It's got all sorts of uh, electronic gadgets on this. It's got a beautiful display. It feels high quality, but it's priced at, I say just, I know that's a lot. Of, this is a lot of money, but £16,500, although that is a lot of money of course, all bikes are a lot of money these days, new ones, £16,500K actually compares very favourably with other bikes in its class. If you look at other litre sports bikes, okay, maybe they're aimed at a slightly different market, but the Panigales, the R1s, the S1000RRs, they're all priced way above this. I think Suzuki have played a blinder with the pricing on the Hayabusa. So that's number three on the list of things I love about the bike. All right then, on to number two. We're getting to the serious stuff now. Number two in my list of top five things that I love about the bike is, and I can't show you at the moment because I'm concentrating up this windy road, is actually the instrumentation. 
I think Suzuki have played a blinder on this bike. They've kept the traditional analog gauges, but uh, added to it by putting in a small TFT in between them. So you've got all the advantages of having a TFT, i.e. you can have all the uh, different bits of functionality that TFTs offer you. But you've still got the lovely looks of this uh, dashboard, for want of a better word here. I think this setup with uh, proper fuel gauge on the extreme left, tachometer or rev gauge, then that TFT, speedo and temperature gauge just looks classy. I love how they've done this. I really hope that other bike manufacturers kind of learn from that. Because that, to my mind, is the best of all worlds in terms of motorcycle display panels. I love that about the bike. That makes number two on my list. Okay, so what's the absolute best thing about this motorcycle. What will I remember about it most? Other than the things I've already mentioned. Well, number one on my list of the things I love about the Hayabusa. I've already mentioned the uh, amazing power delivery on this, but linked to the engine is actually its smoothness. The engine on here is just creamy smooth. doesn't matter what speed you're doing, whether you're riding slowly through town or whether you're cracking along on backcountry lanes. The engine delivers all that power. It dollops a beautiful, creamy, smooth four-cylinderness that I absolutely love. The engine on here is an absolute corker. And that's the thing I love most about the 2021 Hayabusa. So I'd love to know if you think I've... Uh, got that right or wrong about the best things about this bike if you've ridden one or if you own one then do stick your comments below so that other people can learn from your experiences too this is just my opinions I'm no expert on motorcycles I've ridden a few but that's my only qualification there's a lot to love about this bike the handling for a big heavy bike is brilliant as well that could have easily been on my top five list is it a love affair that was a question I asked well I'm not sure I've got another video to come on this bike before it goes back, which will be my in-depth review. Once I've ridden a good few hundred miles on it, ridden it in all sorts of conditions and on all sorts of roads, I'll bring you my in-depth review. So if you're interested in the Hayabusa, stick around and stay tuned for that, because in that one I'll not only give you the things I love about the bike, but the things that I don't like about it too, all the lessons I've learned, the sorts of things you wouldn't pick up if we just went for a one-hour test ride on the bike. So do stay tuned for that. And also, if you're interested, I'm going to just do a little mini fashion segment at the end of the video as well, after the credits. I'm wearing some new boots. I'm quite excited about them, if you can be excited about motorcycle boots. <laughs> Stick around, stay tuned. I'll show you at the very end what they're all about. But for now, on the Hayabusa 2021 from Suzuki, that's it for this time. Hope you enjoyed that. Speak to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Mr. Flyer. Cheerio. Thank you for sticking around to the bitter end of the video and for a mini fashion segment. But I want to tell you about some new boots that I've been wearing. There they are. Pretty cool looking, huh? These are from TCX. They're called their Ikazu boots. Uh, and what I like about them is not only do they look good and they're super comfortable, but they're waterproof and they're super protective and they're very easy to use. Let me explain. So they've got D3O armour around the back of them and underneath. D3O armour is that stuff that goes hard when you hit it, so it's very protective. Uh, they're waterproof, which obviously is great for all uh, year round use. And when I say easy to use, they've got this front zip on, which I've never seen on a motorcycle boot before. So they're dead easy to get on and off. Excuse my motorcycle themed socks. Dead easy to get on and off, even with a gloved hand. So yeah, I've been really impressed with these. If you want a pair, I'll stick a link below. It's at Sports Bike Shop. They're about £144 at the time that I'm filming this. And I think they're an absolute bargain. Anyway, that's it. The uh, TCX Ikazu boots. I recommend them to the house.